if you, if you see people that have just enormous spinal erectors, sometimes that's an indicator of, of actually a poor breathing or bracing strategy because they're using spinal erectors to create all their compression and not actually using the inside enough. That's not always the case, but sort of like a thing to think about. So over compression through the spinal erectors is not necessarily ideal. Um, if you want it, the, the best scenario is a little bit of a brace of both. So we use some air to push this side, we use some musculature to press that way. And then that, that spine is just nicely held in position. Um, again, not in a position where I've locked down my diaphragm and I can't get any air out. I should be able to get that brace pattern um, and then be able to speak. In fact, like I'm doing it right now. And you'll see like a little bit of a, you, if you're really paying attention to my voice, you can hear a little bit of a subtle difference, but I should be able to do this for quite a long time, right? Like I, I, I could take a maximum rep right here in this position, whether I'm overhead pressing, doing some sort of row, like anything, and feel very braced in, in the entire quadrant.